I'm gonna need you to move because if not, I can't sit down. Celine, can you? Can you move? Hey guys, so today's video is another cat chats video, but unlike most of my cat chats, this one is a little bit more serious. For those of you who wanted to see an awkward boy stories part two, that is gonna be the next cat chats video I film. I still haven't done much with my background. I wanna put lights up here like I told you guys in my other cat chats video, but I struggled because, uh, it's a long story, but I'm gonna try to make this little section cute. P.S. I don't like how they cut Porter's hair. Not at all. So I've been wanting to do this video for a while now. I keep going back and forth and I've been telling you guys for a while now that I was gonna do like an updated anxiety video, how I've been dealing with it because I feel like my anxiety has gotten pretty bad over the past few months. But every time I clicked record, like every time I sat here to record the video, I never went through with it. I never finished recording it because I found that there was no solution in the video. Like I wasn't being helpful at all. And the only reason I wanna do these videos is to be helpful in some way. But recently I feel like I have, I've just had kind of like an epiphany or like a revelation and I'm finally ready to sit down and talk about this. I'm gonna link my old um, anxiety video down below because I go into details about kind of like how I got anxiety. I talk about my parents' divorce and my dad's motorcycle accident, which pretty much triggered kind of like all the anxiety I had once that happened. So I'm gonna link my old anxiety video down below. But honestly, recently, my anxiety has been triggered by fear. When I told you guys that I felt like my anxiety had really gotten worse the past few months, I didn't know why, I didn't know what it was. And I finally came to the conclusion that it's, it's fear. It's my fear of everything. And I'm not trying to say that as a joke. I'm always joking around like, oh no, cause I'm just scared of everything. But I am and it's not normal. And I know that it's not normal. And um, I feel like, okay, this video is gonna be all over the place cause I'm just gonna spew out words. But if you are someone like me, if you're watching this video, and you are just like me in the sense that fear triggers so much of your anxiety, I hope this video helps you in some way. Recently, I have gotten so many opportunities that I'm so incredibly grateful for. I'm so grateful. And I was, I was not able to do 90% of them. Like most people, I have a huge fear of flying. I'm talking about like a huge, huge, enormous fear of flying. I need to take Dramamine on every flight. I literally like have panic attacks before flights. I am so scared to fly. It's mostly any kind of public transportation, as odd as that sounds. I'm afraid of Ubers. I'm afraid of like elevators. I'm afraid to get in a car, period. I'm just, I don't like it and it doesn't sit well with me and I don't really understand why, but that's just kind of who I am, especially flying. I think that's like my biggest transportation fear. That sounds so dumb. And doing what I do for a living, like doing the whole YouTube thing and having as many subscribers as I do, I, I get these amazing opportunities, like I said, that I'm so grateful for. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna sound like I'm trying to show off in any way when I begin to talk about this. Like I'm not trying to say like, oh, look at me, I have so many opportunities. And yeah, I turned so many down. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to show you guys like the extent of my fear, like how ridiculous it is. But I was invited to go to Turks and Caicos with Tarte and I turned it down because of my fear of flying, even though Turks and Caicos is not a long flight from Miami. I don't think so. But I said no, I turned down Hawaii with Benefit. I turned down uh, New York with Marc Jacobs. And I even turned down Dubai. I had an opportunity to go to Dubai and hang out with Bethany Moda, which is incredible because I love Bethany Moda so much. And I remember getting the email and I really could not believe it that I had an opportunity to go to Dubai, somewhere that's so beautiful. And I remember sitting down and searching like the flight distance and freaking out. And I said, no, I was like, I can't do it. I'm not going. And then I remember like Bethany Moda posting pictures of her in Dubai and her view was incredible. And these photos she was posting were so incredible. And I just remember feeling like shit. I just remember thinking like, what were you so scared about? Bethany made it perfectly safe and she's having a great time. And what were you so scared about? And I, I didn't know, I didn't have an answer. I mean, I know why I'm scared of planes, but why did I let that stop me? I don't know. Have you ever spoken to somebody and you tell them like, I have really bad anxiety or you start talking about certain things like that and someone tells you like, oh, but that's just in your mind. Just, 
that's in your mind, forget about it. And you look at them like, wow, thank you. All my, all my problems have been solved, thank you. It's not how it works. It's not how it works. Your mind is so powerful. Your thoughts are your reality. I cannot stress how true that is. And the more afraid I told myself I was, the more afraid I was. I don't know if that makes sense. Like the, the more I talked about how bad my anxiety was and oh my gosh, I have so much anxiety and it's so terrible. The more anxiety I had, it's almost like I was telling myself I had bad anxiety. So I created it and it was just getting worse and worse and worse because I just kept telling myself it was getting worse and worse and worse. It wasn't until I went to San Francisco where I realized like I had a moment. So I went to Generation Beauty, was it like a month ago? It's been like a month and a half. And I remember I stayed there for seven days and I cried every single day for like the first four days when I got there. Like my plane landed in California, thank God. I was so excited, I was so happy that my plane landed. And when I got into my rental car or whatever, I just started sobbing. My anxiety was through the roof and I didn't understand why because I was already off of the plane. And I just didn't want to be there. I did not want to be in Los Angeles. I wanted to be home with my dogs. Ever since I got Porter and Celine, my separation anxiety with my dogs has been 20 times worse because I've had Cornelius for, he's about to be eight years old. So I had one dog and whenever I had to travel, you know, I had someone just had to take care of one dog. Now it's three dogs. It's not that easy to just pick up and go when I have three dogs. So while I was in LA, I could not stop thinking about Porter. And I know that's like uh, only Porter, not the other dogs. Porter is attached to me by the hip in a very, 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 very terrible way. Like he cannot do anything if I'm not in the room. He cannot eat unless I'm watching him eat. He cannot, he can't leave me alone for five seconds. It's like a crazy attachment. I've never had any dog attached to me like that in my life. So every time I feel like, so every time I leave, I feel like I'm betraying him in a sense. And I know that, that sounds ridiculous, but I could not stop thinking about it. I just, I just wanted to be home so bad. And then that plus the thought of me getting on a plane again, it was just driving me nuts. The only day that I felt good was Generation Beauty were those two days because I was meeting so many subscribers and they were just getting my mind off of the war going on in my head. So when I came back from Gen Booty, I was like, I am done traveling for months. I don't care who, who asks me to go. I don't care. I'm done. I'm going to stay in my house and I'm not going to go anywhere for the next five months at least. And then this opportunity presented itself and it was benefit. And they asked me to go out to San Francisco and to do a photo shoot, which I will tell you guys why I did that photo shoot later on. I can't really tell you guys why now, but anyway, so... This opportunity presented itself to me and, you know, Danny was like, we've never been to San Francisco, let's do it, let's go. And I was like, I don't want to get on another six hour plane ride, I don't want to do it. So I kept telling myself like, no, I'm not going to San Francisco, I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go. And Danny kept reminding me like, you are going to regret this if you don't go. He always backs me up when I don't want to take a plane ride, but he was just like, this is a great opportunity, you are so going to regret it. So I laid in bed that night and I was like, fine, I'm going to do it. I'm gonna go, but I'm only gonna go three days. I'm just gonna go, do what I have to do, and leave. So that's what I did. And I remember getting to San Francisco and standing in front of the Golden Gate Bridge. Mind you, I, I don't travel, I don't go anywhere. I've never seen much of the world, so when I stood in front of the Golden Gate Bridge, I almost cried. Like, I'm literally about to cry right now, it's so stupid, but it was so pretty that it made me feel so dumb for turning down so many things that I that could have been amazing experiences for me. And I just felt so grateful in that moment that I was there and I was experiencing this with Manny and Patrick and Danny and the girls from Benefit that are so amazing. And I felt so good and happy in that moment that I really just realized, what am I so scared of? And I've come to realize that what helps me is telling myself, What's gonna happen is going to happen, whether you are afraid or not. And if you're watching this and if you're like me, tell yourself that. This has really, really helped me. After going to San Francisco and I came back and looking at the pictures that we took for benefit, I am so proud of myself. And I didn't do anything like life-changing, but getting on that plane a month after I just got off a plane, I would have never done that. If you're someone like me who you fear flying and you let your fear get in the way of doing great things, don't. Because your fear is not gonna stop the world from turning. I like to tell myself that our lives are set in stone. Whether that's the case or not, 
that's what I like to tell myself. So I could either get on a plane or get in a car or do whatever it is that makes me so scared and do it anyway because your destiny is already set. You know, you are living the life you are supposed to live. Like, we are all put on a certain path for a reason. Now, whether you live it to its fullest potential is completely up to you. I feel like I've dug myself into a hole little by little. You know, I found a job where I don't have to get in my car and drive to work every single day. So my fear of driving just started to get bigger and bigger and bigger because I didn't have to get in a car every day. When I used to work at the next, I used to get up every morning and go to work and drive my car and I had to, I was forced to drive my car. But now that I'm not forced to drive my car, I don't find myself getting in my car. I'm still working on that. I'm still trying my best. I try to tell myself it's gonna be okay. And if it's not, then you're gonna worry about it in that moment. But right now, it's gonna be okay. My mind revolves around what ifs. Oh, but what if this happens? Oh, but what if, oh, but what if this happens? Oh, I can't do that because what if, what if this happens? Oh my gosh, and I just, I can't do it anymore. I can't. Sometimes the biggest issues people have are in their minds. They can live these perfect lives, but struggle daily on the inside. And recently I just feel like I'm just so scared of everything for no reason. When I shouldn't be because what's meant to happen is gonna happen no matter what. I kind of wanted to make this video to tell some of you that you're not alone. If you fear so many things and if your fear holds you back from so many things, you're not alone. I'm the same way, but I'm here to help you. I'm here to be afraid with you. You know, it's okay to be afraid as long as you set a goal and you try to help yourself. I felt like for a while I wasn't helping myself. I kept telling myself like, no, you can't do that because you're scared, remember? You have this fear, remember? I was like my own worst enemy. Still kind of am, I'm not gonna lie, but I feel like I've gotten a little better. I started doing things um, that I knew was gonna be helpful to me. And maybe these tips can kind of help you. I bought this on Amazon um, a few days ago. This is the my bucket list journal. It says, write it down, memories are all that's left. Like it goes up to number 100 and you're supposed to list 100 things you wanna do in your life. I've only written two down, which number one is see the Eiffel Tower, number two is go to Ireland. Um, on the following page, you know, it tells you it has a date, it says what I did, why it's on my list, where, who was I with, the details, how I was feeling, and my goal is to do this. Why not try to live the life you're given to the best of its abilities? Like, And it's not just about fear, it's about who you are as a person, try to be a better person every day try to work on yourself this is the only life you have guys this is the only life you have and another thing that has helped me i know it seems really dumb but like inspirational quotes throw them all over your house if you have a beauty room or if you have your own your bedroom put up things on the wall that make you happy that make you feel good because if you constantly have happy thoughts those bad ones that like to creep up on us they won't come in you won't let them in i printed this picture out i got it on etsy i printed it and then i bought this frame on amazon it says the best things in life are the people you love the places you've been and the memories you've made along the way and i thought it was so fitting in my situation because i have to tell myself this every day don't want to live your life with what ifs and i found that recently that's all i would do is oh but what if this goes wrong what if this goes wrong what if this goes wrong and it's like well what if it doesn't what if this goes right put yourself in the light from now on try your best and i know it's really hard when someone tells you to do something but try your best to look at things glass half full don't be afraid to live your life the best way you can live it. Don't let your fear stop you. I'm telling you that because I know, because I let my fear stop me every day. Right now, I'm on the journey to success. I'm on the journey to positivity. I'm on the journey to light and where no fear. I'm on the journey to a place where there is no fear. I'm on my way and I hope you guys are on your way with me. I hope if you are someone who suffers with the same things that I do, I hope that this video helps you even a little bit. I hope it encourages you to, I don't know, buy a bucket list journal or I don't, print out a bunch of happy quotes and happy thoughts and put them all over your walls. Eliminate bad people in your life. Even though you may not think that that triggers to any fears, it might, you never know. Just. I hope this video helps you in to try to become a better you. I try every day to become a better me. 
who knows how I'll feel in three weeks. But until I get there, I'm not gonna worry about it. So that completes this video, I guess. I don't know if this was all over the place. Some of you might comment like this video was all over the place, but that's okay. I'm all over the place all the time. I just wanted to talk about it. I just wanted to tell you guys my moment in San Francisco. And even if you don't care, I hope some of you do. Even if this video reaches and touches one person, I've done my job. I love you guys so, so much. And just know that I'm with you through your struggles through your anxiety, through your pain that goes on in your mind that nobody knows about. I know, and I'm with you. And we're gonna get better together. We are, we are gonna do this, we're gonna get better. You're gonna get better. Life is really gonna turn around for you, but it starts with you. It doesn't start with anybody else. I love you. I hope this video helped you. Um, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.